Yo, what is good with y'all? This is Nick Mirror from Internet Money, and today I'm gonna be cooking up a 6 9 or Takashi 6 9 type beat for y'all. You know, shout out to Feral Vice, MJ Nichols, Taz Taylor. Got track 8 on there. I believe it's track 8, uh, Bubba. That track is crazy. Go bump that for internet money's sake. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's just get straight to this cook up. So, off rip, I got this piano open from, you know, Keyscape, just a regular basic piano. And we're gonna, you know, mess around, do a pretty uh, repetitive pattern, you know. Takashi has those, like, Kiki and Kuda. Those very uh, repetitive piano patterns. So, we're gonna mess around right here, see what we can do. I'm gonna quantize that. It was off, I didn't have my metronome on the whole way. Copy this. I'm gonna open up. Let's open up Dune. And I'm gonna delete this over here. Do Control A, then hold Alt, and stretch this out. this piano one more time I'm gonna send all three of these tracks to my mixer Unmute that. Solo this. I'm gonna open up Gross Beat, and I'm gonna use my custom bank over here. I'm going to start adding my drums. I'm going to go for some harder drums on this, so I'm going to open up my uh, Magma drum kit. I'm going to bring the out knob up. clap with this. Let's try this one. Alright, now for our hi-hats. I'm gonna do some uh, stutters here and there. We're not gonna do any crazy uh, hi-hat rolls because I noticed in uh, Takashi Beats, he doesn't really do crazy rolls like that. His producers don't do that. So uh, we're just gonna cut them up. wondering how I'm doing this I'm doing a control shift C to activate the slice tool and then I'm holding down shift and then left click dragging on this I'm gonna delete this
this over here, do control B, paste that over. Now I'm gonna take half of this, do shift, left click, bring it an octave down, hold down alt, and then drag this out. Gives for some extra bounce. I'm gonna turn the velocity all the way down. Next up, we have our kick, and for our kick, we're gonna do some uh, double hits here and there. I'll show you what I mean. Like that, right here, we have the da doom. That's how I want it. Now that we have our kick done, I'm going to add some additional perks slash hats here and there for some, uh, just to fill up the beat. I'm going to use this as an accent snare. Now the 808 doesn't really matter, just make sure it's a hard sound in 808 and uh, make sure it's tuned with the melody and don't have it sliding all over the place. That's pretty much rule of thumb there. So F sharp, that's where we want our 808. I'm going to tune it right with the pitch knob up here. so it's not so in your face like the whole beat. One thing I do want to note on uh, right here is when you're mixing the track, which is basically just leveling for me, all I do is just level the sounds, have the kick the loudest instrument, 808 following up, and that just making sure everything sounds right and clear. Um, for Takashi beat, we want it kind of distorted, but we don't want the master clipping, so we're going to bring out a limiter, bring the attack down, release down, a head down, and then adjust our ceiling knob, and then after we adjust our ceiling knob, we're going to bring out a maximizer and just raise it back up. So uh, let's do that real quick. <laughs> 